Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf, and it's January 1st, baby. It is 2024, and we've got an exciting road ahead of us. Uh, I will be spending the entire year thrifting for vintage goodies. So, hey, if you are new to the channel, my name's Burf. Uh, real name's Chris Burfield, but all my friends call me Burf, and I hunt for vintage toys and thrift stores. So, if you like thrift stores and you like vintage toys, I'm assuming you'll probably like my channel, so I would invite you to hit the subscribe button. But man, guys, I, you know, we are kicking off 2024 with an exciting adventure. I found so much good stuff today. It was just freaking awesome. So here's kind of the deal. We're actually on a bit of a mission starting off this first day of the year. Uh, so a few days ago, I was at Plaza Thrift, aka Craptastic Sam's, and uh, they had a 1997 micro machines death star they actually had two of them in their glass case they wanted 25 dollars a piece for them there was no way i was paying that one of them was incomplete one of them looked to be intact that's the one i want so january 1st today they are having a 50 percent off sale but I know there's probably other toy hunters in the area that have seen those and are going to want them as well. So we got to get there bright and early because the early bird gets the worm. So we're heading off on a mission. Hopefully I can get there before everybody else and get in line before everybody else. And I can get my hands on this Micro Machines Death Star because it looks so freaking cool. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Lego! My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, so I'm here about 40 minutes early. I wanna make sure I'm first in here to get this thing, but we're gonna take a peek through the window to see if they're, if they're still in the glass case. Oh yeah. There they are, baby. There's two of them in there still. All right, well hopefully I can be in there first and get them before anybody else. Oh man, this guy rolled up here next to me. He looks like he would be a toy hunter. I'm not 100%, but he looks like a toy hunter. <laughs> I hope he's not here for that Death Star. We'll see. I got to get the drop on him. It's like 31 degrees outside, so it's freezing. And, uh,. I don't know if I should just go stand at the door because like the way these situations work is whoever's standing at the door is considered first in line, not who pulls into the parking lot. Now he's just sitting over there in his car right now, but uh, at some point I gotta get out. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him. If I start to see him move, like where he's opening his door, I'll just open my door and go stand in line and get there first. I've, I've, I've got to. <laughs> so. Oh man, the stress of hunting vintage toys. I mean, here's the thing. He's here early for a reason, right? It's like 30 minutes, it's 8.30, they open at nine. I got here at 8.20, so it's 8.31 right now. So he's here early for a reason. Now, what reason is he here for? I don't know, I, but I hope it's not those Star Wars micro machines, man, because I'm getting them. I'll leave, I'll leave him the, uh, the incomplete one. There's two of them in there. One's incomplete. One looks like complete. Uh, cause one of the death stars has like a, a couple of like, um, like little panels missing on the side of it. I don't want that one. I want the, uh, the one that has all the panels. All right. Well, oh, look, there he is. There he is. He's making a phone call right now. He's making a phone call. He's saying there's someone else here in the parking lot early. Looks like a toy hunter. That's what he's telling his wife or his buddy. All right, guys, it's gonna be go time here in a little bit. Oh, look, he's pulling out. Nice, get out of here. Go on, get, get. Well, that was weird. <laughs> Pulled up, made some phone calls and left. What's he doing? Is he doing a drug deal? All right, so they're gonna hold it for me and uh, we're gonna shop a little bit and see if we can find some other goodies. Get a Mickey Mouse in there. Some sort of uh, 
it's just like a police car. Maybe from the movie cars. Oh yeah, I can see his little eyeballs. Oh yeah, it's Mr. Peabody. All right, now let's see if we can find any other vintage toys on the shelves or some Lincoln Logs. Ruff the dog. Oh, it's a beefcake pony. Beefcake, beefcake, I'm a big beefcake. Yeah, buddy! That's what you call getting the drop on your fellow toy hunters. Who's the king? Who's the king of thrift? Who's the king of finding vintage toys in thrift stores? Your boy. All right, let's do some show and tell. Behold, the 1997 Micro Machines Death Star. Look at this thing. And it's got all of its panels here on the outside. The other one that was in the case had panels missing and it was kind of funny the guy that, that was there to get it it wasn't the same guy in the parking lot it was a different guy he walked in saw this in my hand and he goes oh man you got here before me and I was like well there's two of them and he's like oh there's two of them and I said yeah I said there's this one but it doesn't have all its pieces it's incomplete and he goes oh, I don't want that so he just walked off but man the early bird gets the worm let's open this puppy up Look at the inside of this playset. We got Uncle Owen's homestead. Uh, this is where Luke grew up, which is really cool. There's like, I wonder if this actually, oh, there's something that kind of pops up there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And that opens up and there's like a little dinner table inside and some different like appliances and computers and stuff like that, which is really cool. And then over here, we've got a little uh, sand, a Sandman, Tuscan Raider. He jumps up from behind the, uh, the stone wall here and unleashes his blaster. Pew, pew. And then we've got the cantina scene. This thing is just awesome. This looks like the table that maybe Luke, I'm sorry, uh, Han and Greedo had their encounter possible and then uh, i love that little outside scene there in the background really cool and then over here we've got the death star station you know the inside of the death star i'm assuming there's maybe like a tie fighter that goes on right here or something but wow this thing is super cool i saw it a few days ago and uh, they wanted 25 bucks for it. And there was just no way I was gonna pay $25 for this. But with the 50% off discount, I got it for $12.50 plus tax. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I do have some Star Wars Micro Machines around here somewhere. I'm just gonna need to find them. You can see we've got some Stormtroopers back there. We've got some Jawas. There's, uh, there's the bartender from the cantina, just a bunch of uh, little scenery that really makes this thing awesome. Well, mission accomplished. We set out, we're already setting goals for the year and we've achieved them the very first day. Like it doesn't get any better than that. All right, up next, the goodie wheel, baby. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. First goodie wheel of the year, baby, 2024. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for you. Boy. Man, this feels so good to have scored that Death Star, man. Hopefully we can find some more stuff in here. Well, their toy section looks like it's got a lot of stuff in it. Just not sure if it has anything for us. Wasn't sure if that was like that uranium glass or something. Oh, looky, looky. It's our boy, Buzz. Oh, we got a Star Wars. And we got a tank. Man, that thing is heavy. It looks like it's some sort of remote control, though. What's this microphone? Motown Magic. It's got a little MLP sticker on it. Here's another one. Oh, look at this. Little, that's got to be... Gotta be vintage, maybe, huh? I don't know. Oh, look at this big old dinosaur egg. 
I hope that thing turns off soon. It's annoying. <laughs> oh, here's a box full of toys. What all do we got in there? It looks like there's some sort of action figure. I don't know who that is, though. Oh, there's a couple of them in there. Maybe some Disney stuff, possibly. Oh, there's a turtle. It's like a Mickey D's toy, though. Six dollars for the box. Let's see if we got anything cool in Plushville. A Scooby eating a hot dog. sealed yeah i'm definitely gonna pick this up this thing's selling for like 40 bucks now this box is a little bit banged up you can see that right there but still um i'm sure somebody would probably still buy it at 40 because someone probably wants to build it huh and not just display the box all right well, i'm gonna get this for five bucks that's a great deal look at all these puppies <laughs> and maybe like uh Thomas the Train set, kids mixed toys. Oh yeah, it's a Thomas the Tank Engine set. And then we got this Create a Road. We got another Lego set over here. What's this, maybe Harry Potter? Oh, something TMNT, that looks cool. Let's see, what is this? Harry Potter, all right, I'll check that. What do we want for that one? Six bucks for that. There's a Minecraft. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here, actually. All right. There's another Minecraft. That looks like a cool one. Minecraft. So, rabbit. Wow. And look at this thing. What is this? It's like a little dinette set. <laughs> the pizza. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, I'm going to grab that too. Well, this one's only selling for about 5 to $10. So we're going to leave this one here. This one right here is selling for between like $20, upwards of 30 in some cases. There were a few that sold for 10 So I think I might get that one. This one isn't selling for very much. So I might pass on this one or maybe combine them together. I put $10 into it because they're $4.99 each. And maybe I can squeeze like 40 bucks out of it or something. All right, so I might actually get both of these. And now I got to check this Harry Potter. Well, it looks like this one's selling for about 25 to 30 bucks. So I'm going to get these ones here. And we're going to leave this one behind. I'm going to pick this one up just no matter what. But I'm going to see if it's worth anything. Okay, there's actually like spatulas and stuff like that that come with it or supposed to come with it. Those are not here. It had it had all that stuff. It's worth about 25 bucks, but it doesn't matter. I'm buying it just to uh, keep it, put it on display somewhere in the bunker. Oh, look at this. The Joker Diabolical Party Game. All right, let's see. What all do we got in here? Bunch of cards. All the cards are cool. Yeah, I like the graphics on those. That's awesome. Oh, there's the penguin. Harley Quinn. Yeah, it's kind of a cool, cool game set. Holy cow, there's another one. All right, that's gotta be worth about the same as the other one I picked up. It's the same book, but a little different. Yeah, see that? One's like a brown, one's a blue book. Oh, there's actually different figures on it, so it's not exactly the same. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna grab that too. Oh, check out this Reaper looking dude. I think he's from like uh, the Monster Trucks line, if I remember correctly. We got a Barbie Dreamtopia Mermaid. 
She's from 2017. I'll look her up. She might be worth a little kiggity cash. They want five bucks for her. Well, it turns out she's selling for about 12 bucks with free shipping, so not worth the pickup for me. Oh, check out this dude. I really like the colors of that uh, helicopter. It's a very vibrant green. Check this out. So there's a cartoon I watched as a kid called The Superbook. And uh, looks like they did an updated animated like CGI series or something like that. Kind of tempted to get it. They went $3 for that though. But it's not the super book that, you know, the cartoon from when I was a kid. It's it's a modernized one. But the super book stories were always great stories. I really enjoyed them as a kid. I still enjoy them as an adult. I found some VHS of them over the last couple of years. And I've watched the episodes and it's good. It's a good cartoon. I think I might pass on this though. Check this out, black light speaker. Oh, that's kind of cool. What do you want for that? Seven dollars. Oh, here's a cart full of stuff. There's a Bane, Joker. Oh, here's some TMNT bed sheets. Too bad I didn't have like a. Too bad I didn't have like a spare bedroom with like a single bed, or else I would get one of those and you know. Put it on my buddy andy simpson found a ghostbusters a vintage ghostbusters uh sleeping bag at like a goodwill or something like that or one of his local thrift stores that would be awesome to find something like that this is cool but i'm not gonna get it well check it out vince lombardi what it takes to be number one Winning is not a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. You don't win once in a while, you don't do things right once in a while, you do them right all the time. Winning is a habit, unfortunately so is losing. There is no room for second place, there is only one place in my game and that's first place. I have finished second twice in my time at Green Bay and I don't ever want to finish second again. There is a second place bowl game, but it is a game for losers played by losers. It is always and has been an American zeal to be first in anything we do and to win and to win and to win. Oh, that is pretty awesome. That's pretty inspiring. Hmm, they only want $5 for, well, $5, but then they want six ninety nine. That's cool. I might actually pick that up. Well, dang, this thing actually, uh, it's sold twice recently in the last 90 days on eBay for about 45 bucks. Wow, y'all, we got some big money scores. We got some big money scores. And I, didn't, I don't know if I told you this, but this year in 2024, some of my goals is that I want to acquire some grail pieces. Of course, the Shogun Godzilla, which I've been after for a while, but I also want to get my hands on a Clash of the Titans Kraken. So my plan is, is to sell off some of my share and then also find stuff in stores and thrift stores that I can flip for some big money. And these are some big money items. So let's do a little show and tell with these. These things are going to make me a little kiggity cash that I might be able to make my grail dreams come true. Check out the Goody Wheel Hall. Oh my gosh, Goody Wheel showed up big today. Big, big money scores, man. We got this Harry Potter Hogwarts moments potions class a uh, hogwarts moment potion class and then we got the hogwarts moment transfiguration class how cool are these oh my gosh and then we got this minecraft the blaze bridge we got uh boba fett with slave one and uh, it just says uh boba fett's ship starship we all know that slave one so we got that, and then we got this other Minecraft piece over here, the bee farm. And of course I got this little sign that can be written in fluorescent uh, marker. Check this out, let me turn the light off here for a second. Oh, look at that, super cool. So it's like actually all lit up, let's see. There we go, see? And then we light it up. Oh yeah, baby. But yeah, holy cow, I was not expecting this. So I should be able to make quite a bit of money that will go into the birth bank to help me acquire my grails this year. 
I also picked up this Vince Lombardi framed print. It's really nice. I absolutely love this, what it takes to be number one. So I got this as a little motivation and inspiration for 2024. I wanna be number one in everything I do, in my business, on my YouTube channel, with my family. I want, I want success. So I thought this would be a great piece to hang on the wall and keep me inspired. It actually does, if we can kind of flip it around here. It's got this certificate of quality assurance. I don't know what that means, probably nothing. <laughs> but I thought this was a really great piece and how fitting for 2024. And then last, but certainly not least, I picked up this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hot and fresh pizza play set. And it comes with the whole dinette set. It's got the plates. It's got each of the figures, uh, stickers of the, of the characters on it. There's Raphael. And then we've got Donatello. We've got Leonardo. And then we've got Mikey. And when I said in the store that I thought it came with like, you know, a spatula and a pizza cutter, like the utensils and stuff like that. Uh, apparently the box that these utensils came in is no longer here, but the utensils were here. So it looks like I've got most of the utensils. I might be missing some forks and knives and spoons and stuff like that. But for overall, what a neat little piece. So I have every single one of those items listed up right now in my eBay store, and I'm actually pricing them lower than what they're actually selling for, what I've seen them sell for, because, you know, I got them pretty cheap, obviously, so I'm going to pass some of that savings on to other people. doesn't mean I'm going to, like, you know, charge, like, $25 for a, a, a Lego set that's worth $150. It just means I might charge, like, you know, a hundred bucks for a Lego set that's worth 150. So, um, but anyway, they're in my eBay store. So as I sell these items, that money is going to go into the birth bank. So we're going to start a birth bank and we're going to use that money to buy some grails this year. All right, guys, off to another thrift store. Right, everything's 50% off, which means those Space Jam figures are 50% off. I wonder if anybody will buy them. Got some Star Wars down here. A Batmobile. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons. That's cool. Let's see anything in here. What is that? And we have some starting lineup, like hockey players over here. Fisher Price Firehouse. I've got this. It works well for Ghostbusters. Real Ghostbusters figures. What else do we got? We're gonna find any vintage toys on these shelves. It's like a toilet or something. Not seeing anything here, but maybe the bags will have something. There's some like little potato head people in there. And here's some big potato head people. Some sort of uh it's Tiger Games. All right, let's see if we can find anything in the bags. There's a lot of bags to go through here. There's some tokens. What well, says, what would Jesus do? There's a little turtle. Oh, there's a splinter, some PJ masks. A lot of bags, but I'm not really seeing anything like significant. There's a BB-8, looks like a Mickey D's toy. Oh, look at this octopus. I think he's supposed to be like a sticky wall cleaner or something. Oh, it looks like a Darth Vader potato head guy. Maybe some remnants of R2-D2 in there as well. Hey, it's like a Hot Wheels King Kong. Oh, 
I think, I mean, I still have all this to check, but it looks like we're going to get busted. I'm not seeing much. Oh, what are the chances of us finding Mr. Peabody twice today? This is the second one today. Exactly the same. That's funny. What a coinky dink. Got a Red Ranger. That's about the coolest action figure I've seen here. Yeah, there ain't nothing in these bags. Well, how did I miss this on the first go around? It's some sort of castle place. Uh, it looks like a church, actually. <laughs> what is that? I wonder if it's all there. What are they asking for? It? Seven, so I get it for three dollars and fifty cents. It makes sound, definitely. It's got an on-off switch. I just don't know if it's all there. Well, it turns out it's a Harry Potter castle playset. And with the figures, it recently sold for 80 bucks. I don't know if everything is there, though. It could be. I pulled the trigger on the Harry Potter castle. Let's do some show and tell. All right, so initially I wasn't going to get this thing, but the more I started looking at it, the more I started digging it. So it is the Harry Potter castle. It did come with this one little figure. I don't even, I've never watched a full Harry Potter movie, guys. Like I have never seen one from start to finish. I've seen bits and pieces of them. That has been on my agenda for years <laughs> to like actually watch a full on episode and then to watch all of them. So I will definitely have to check them out. But I thought this castle playset, this school, I guess it's maybe the school they go to. I just thought it was freaking awesome. Now it is missing some pieces. It's missing, um, you know, one of the paintings. You can see there's a little knob right there it would insert into, but we do have the chandelier. We're missing, you know, one of these pieces and uh, and some other things. But I thought, I mean, I guys, I love play sets. I, you know, I've told you this before, doll houses, play sets, those sorts of things. It's like, I want my figures to have a place to live, you know? And uh, I thought this thing was pretty neat. So I'll probably end up going to eBay and seeing if I can pick up some spare parts. It even has like this uh, this magic hat. If I remember, doesn't this thing like talk or something like that? And uh, I don't have the batteries in it, but if you push this button right here, uh, this little chimney, uh, I think has some different phrases and stuff that it sells, uh, not sells, uh, says, let's flip this thing around. So here's what it looks like from the front side. It's got this little entryway down here. There's one over here, one here, and then an area right here. So uh, yeah, I just, I think it's freaking awesome. And once I get it, uh, get some more pieces to it, I think I'm just gonna hold on to it for a while. Oh yeah, baby, we on a roll. We scoring left and right today. Yeah, we scoring left and right. Man, how awesome is that castle? I'm ready to hit up another Goody Wheel, and I'm hoping maybe I can find something vintage there, something to get the vintage jazz flowing through my veins. All right, gang, second Goody Wheel of the year. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Man, wouldn't it be awesome to find some more stuff like we did at the other Goodwill? Stuff that can make me a little giggity cash. And, you know, all that stuff adds to the birth bank. I got grills. I got grill ghouls this year. The Kraken and uh, let this car pass. The Kraken from Clash of the Titans and Shogun Godzilla. Sometimes, some way, somehow throughout the year, those figures will be mine. All right, let's see what these guys got. Oh, it's like a BB-8 remote control, 15 bucks. Got a stack of games over here. Looks like a lot of sports games. Inner Sphere Mech Park. That looks like a PC game. 
Commando. That's a PC. All right, let's go check the shelves. Oh, they got some Wii's. They got a whole bunch of Wii's for sale. World of Warcraft. Battle chest. Well, damn, Plushville looks stacked. Lots of plush in there. All right, we'll look at that stuff in a second. We'll see if we can find any toys. Oh yeah, I think this is the one where they kind of mix the plush in with the toys. They just started kind of doing that recently. Unless there's some stuff on the other side. We'll check here in a second. In the meantime, we'll take a look through here. Caroline had a bunch of these when she was a little girl. Just a wee little girl. She's all grown up now. Yeah, nothing on this other side. I was kind of hoping maybe this would be stacked up with toys. What is this? It's got a ton of like these little different colored people in here. I have no idea what that is and why there are so many of them. Uh, here's a castle. Princess castle. Looks like somebody's painted on it. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, what do we have here? Look at all these. Oh, wow. This is cool, too. Merrill's Marauders. I've never seen that. All right, I'll definitely get that. But I think we're about to pick up a whole set of Rocky and Bullwinkle. <laughs> How much are they asking for these? There's no price on them. I don't know what they're what they're gonna ask for. I mean, I'll get them all. Let's see if they're like you know two bucks a piece. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty. It's like twenty-five bucks. Oh, look at this Ben Ten Alien Swarm Pack. Ten dollars for that? That's crazy. Bullwinkle is in the his house. Yeah, these things are awesome. Let's take a little closer look at them. Holy smokes, this is an awesome VHS haul of Rocky and Bullwinkle. And uh, also, I also got uh, Merrill's Marauders, so I'll probably pop that in tonight and watch it. But these things are awesome. So we've got the Weather Lady, and then we've got Blue Moose. There's Mr. Peabody and Sherman. And then back here, we've got Birth of Bullwinkle. And this is Norman Moosewell. I wonder if it has any of like the Go Go Gopher Indian cartoons in it. This one is called La Grande Moose Banana Formula. And then we've got Mona Moose. And we've got Whistler's Moose. The series, it's like named after like uh, painters. Vincent Van Moose. He was a little crazy. Look, he cut his, uh, you know, Vincent Van Gogh cut his ear off. And I guess his horn is all bandaged up. And then we got Canadian Gothic. And then back here, we've got Painting Theft. And then finally, we've got Potsylvania Creeper. Super awesome. So stoked to be getting these in my VHS collection. All right, gang, one more store. One more store and we'll wrap things up. Let's head off to the Goody Will and see if we can't finish strong. Well, gang, the Goody Will has been good to us the first day of the new year. So I figured, why not end today's trip at another Goody Wheel? What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Your brother and sister hooked me up today. Let's see if, uh, let's see if you can deliver the goods. All right, now at the first Goody Wheel, it was a end cap like this that hooked me up with, oh my God, is that a vintage Simon? It hooked me up with the Legos. I think this is vintage. It's funny, my mom, well, we'll find out here in a second. My mom's friend, Barb, who gave me all the Smurfs, she just sent me a Simon. This looks 
old. And the box is actually in better shape than the one Barb gave me. All right, I'm gonna open this up and see if we can find a year on it because I don't see one here on the outside anywhere. Oh yeah, 1978. What do they want for that? Five bucks. All right, I'm gonna grab it. Now, oh, is that G.I. Joe? No. I don't know what that is though. It looks old. I might have to look into that. But uh, let's see if we can find some other stuff on the shelves here. All right, I don't see anything else. So I'm gonna try looking this thing up. Oh, wait a minute, it says Star Command on it. So this is a Buzz Lightyear vehicle. Okay, the faded, the off-white, I thought maybe it was older plastic, but yeah, I'll pass on that. Oh, looks like we got a, uh, a Rock Steady in the bag. He's a newer one. Oh, look, it's a, uh, some sort of backpack or something like that, or purse. Oh, the Death Star, whoa. <laughs> That would have been bad. Oh, that's made, made out of plastic. I thought it was made out of glass. I was like, damn, that would have shattered. Well, we wrapped up today's toy hunt with a little vintage, some 1978 Milton Bradley Simon. Check it out. Well, here we go, guys. The final score of the day, the 1978 Milton Bradley Simon game. How cool is this thing? So it takes two D batteries and a nine volt don't have any nine volts so i'm not able to fire it up for us but i may do that in a future video so this thing is pretty sweet it's in super great condition i already have one like i said my mom's friend barb sent one to me for christmas uh, which was really awesome and kind of her the box the one that she sent uh the box was a little bit it was in decent shape but it was a little more banged up this box is in great condition so I'm super excited for this. And what a great way to start off 2024 with all of these amazing thrift store finds today. Not a too shabby for the first toy hunt of the year. So hey, if you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. And if you wanna watch more videos just like this, check out this next video.